Welcome back. Before I introduce the next speaker to the stage, I'd like to provide some context. Now, in 2014, I went on a week's work experience with my dyslexia. Well, that one week has somehow amounted to 131 weeks at counting. <laughs> However, I spent that initial week with my Clefby's campaign manager, Sean Rees. One thing that was evident was that he was passionate and really cared about the area he grew up in and the people in it. Please welcome campaign manager and the next county councillor for Glanamore, Sean Rees. chapter in our party's history. We have little more than a hundred days until the residents here in Fenetti will be voting for their county and community councillors. In May's election, I'm very proud to have been selected to stand in Glanmore. Being born and bred in the community, I, like you, see the problems that we have and the challenges that we face. We are often forgotten about. Glanamore is the second most proud ward in our county. This is why I am standing. We in this party refuse to accept that this is as good as it gets. Just this morning, I was out knocking doors with our community survey to offer our solutions to the day-to-day -day issues that matter to all of us. We've already listened to some of the ambitious, innovative plans like the Wellness and Life Science Village which will truly transform my area. Friends, last year marked 50 years since Gwynfor Evans' historic victory in this county. We must capture that spirit Gwynfor gave us back then. Mm. Plaid Cymru is the only political party that came into being to serve Wales and the needs of all the people of Wales. We are not accountable to party bosses in London whose agendas have led to decades of underfunding of our public services. We are accountable to you, and only to you. Politics is changing rapidly, all around us. While the Westminster elite continue to bicker over their internal squalls and power struggles, people here are crying out for change. A just, workable alternative. As America dominates today's headlines, I quote Barack Obama, change will not come if we wait for son of a person or for son of a time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Let 2017 be that year when our positive, progressive message of fairness and hope trumps the ugly, divisive <laughs> politics of fear and danger. Those in any society who peddle lies and spread fear offer no answer. They are themselves part of the problem. Compassion is one of the hallmarks that defines us as a civilised society. I want every young person to grow up in a place where there is hope, a town where no one is left behind and a country where we have equality at the very heart of our agenda. Austerity has failed. It has increased inequality. It has penalised those who have the least. In Wales alone, 200,000 children are growing up in poverty. 90,000 of those in severe poverty. This is not the kind of society Plaid Cymru wants people to be forced to live in. This is not the kind of society we want our children to grow up in. But it suits some in our political system to keep us on our knees. When it's time we stood up straight and looked them in the eye. When others repeatedly tell us that no, we can't, our message is simple. Yes, we can. Last Sunday, many of you know I'm an avid rugby fan, I watched the Scarlets take on the current European champions. It was a tough battle. In my opinion, 
we had some very poor decisions were made by the officials. <laughs> Not that different from politics, you may say. But what struck me most was the word used on the front of the match day programme. Believe. Because anything is truly possible <coughs> when we believe. It will take each one of us to make a difference for all of us. Being brave enough to start a conversation that really matters in every family, in every household, in every community. Our message for Labour voters in Canetti is this. You remain true to your core principles. We understand this. You haven't changed, but unfortunately, your party has. It may surprise some of you to know that my grandfather was a Labour man. Old Labour, in the days when the party actually stood for something. But what do we have now? On the 14th of January 2015, Labour MPs voting with the Tories for £30 billion worth of cuts. Cuts which are now crippling our public services. A party that backs Tory austerity is without doubt a party that has lost its way. Mm -hmm. Closer to home, the reputation of our county council declined steeply when under the Labour Party. But with your support, we can continue to improve the credibility and the performance of this authority, as well as empowering our communities. We know it will not be easy, but Plaid will not settle for services that are only marginally better than nothing. Like you, we want the very best for our area. High skilled, well paid jobs that give our people a decent standard of living. Building our economy so it works for everyone and not just the privileged few. Our NHS must be protected, placing our staff and patients at the centre of everything we do. Financial incentives will encourage doctors in areas having recruitment problems, ensuring healthcare is available where and when you need it. Investment in apprenticeships and work-based learning will enhance opportunities for all our young people, our future, to have the best start in life and reach their full potential. From getting a nuisance pothole filled to clearing up litter, to tackling crime, to encouraging the provision of more affordable homes, Clyde councillors understand the full role of their responsibilities. <coughs> in Canetti, we have our very own A team of candidates, a network of local community <coughs> champions who care and who will play their part in delivering the strong leadership that we deserve. Canetti needs a team with passion, Canetti needs a team with ambition and a team with vision. We are that team. Door by door, call by call, Leaflet by leaflet, letter by letter, and yes, tweet by tweet. <laughs> we can and we will make a difference. When we look back at Knefi's industrial heritage, our town's past success should inspire us for the future. We have the vision, the imagination. In the mid-19th century, Knefi's copper works was the third largest copper work site in the world. Brothers Thomas and Walter Davis invented the world's first workable spare wheel system for cars, the Stephanie wheel. Velvo Brewery was the first in Britain to can beer back in 1936. <laughs> and we must not forget the Cambrian tin plate works, whose world renowned products gave our town its famous nickname. Suspan. Finally, it may be a little ambitious to expect many of us to reach the dizzy heights set by local astronomer Hugh Percy Wilkins of James Street, whose lunar maps were used by NASA and whose name today is commemorated as a crater on the moon. But even that shouldn't stop any of us from reaching for the stars. In this election, if you want to send a crystal clear message, make your mark on May the 4th and vote Plaid Cymru. The stronger we are, the greater influence Clinetti will have. We will work hard for you all year round 
because we will always be on your side.